In this bulletin, luggage could be the source of COVID-19. Fijians told to stop pandemic stigma. And Care Fiji app becomes more important than ever. From the studios of FBC Suva, Ateva Lendua. First up, we join Christiana Uluwai, who is live from downtown Suva. Christiana, what can you tell us about the rumors on the streets of Suva this morning about new cases? Ateva, at this time, this is still rumors and should be considered as rumors unless and until clarified by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services. Now, I was at the market earlier this morning, about 40 minutes ago, and people are still moving around the marketplace, the supermarket and the bus station, as they would on a normal Wednesday morning. No panic or rush whatsoever. And once again, members of the public are advised not to consume everything they read on social media and to follow all the information and advisories published on the Ministry of Health and Medical Services Facebook official Facebook pages or the FBC News website for the latest update on this new uh, on this current COVID case. And whilst we all await on the update and the uh, advisories from uh, the Ministry of Health and Medical Services later this afternoon, ensure that you and your family are COVID safe and are practicing all these safety regulatory measures put in place by the Health Ministry during this pandemic. Ateva. Thank you, Christiana. The resort worker who has tested positive for COVID-19 did not have her Care Fiji app turned on. The 53-year-old and her family of 11 attended a funeral in Tabukumbu over the weekend. The woman had already been exposed to COVID-19 at the time. Permanent Secretary for Health, Dr. James Fong, confirms while she did download the Care Fiji app, it was disabled because the Bluetooth feature on her smartphone had been turned off. If she had her KFG app on while she was moving up and down uh, the corridor, we would have actually known who all the phones that she was close proximity with, and we would have been informing those people with the other phones, hey, there was a person who was in close proximity to you, and we would have had a list generated already, and we would be out there trying to look for people. There is a need to shake off the harmful stigma against people who have contracted COVID-19. Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. James Fong says people need to understand that the virus is highly transmissible and anyone can catch it. Dr. Fong is urging people to be honest with health officials about how they're feeling and where they've been. If you feel you have symptoms, call 158. If you know someone experiencing symptoms, call 158. If you suspect you have had contact with either or two confirmed patients, either of our two confirmed patients, call 158. Our screening clinics are open and available throughout the country as part of a national network of community surveillance to identify COVID-19-like symptoms among the Fijian public and to get them tested. The soldier who contracted COVID-19 in a border quarantine facility in Nandi over the weekend may have contracted it while handling the baggage of two passengers who arrived from India. Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. James Fong says they believe the soldier interacted with these passengers. The 69-year-old and a 38-year-old arrived from Rajkot, India on flight FJ1362 from Singapore on April 10th. That means when he was carrying their baggage down, uh, he had his appropriate PPE on, but we feel that was the most likely area touch point based on the fact that, he's, uh, that he was able to transmit it to somebody else. It had to have harbored for a few days and then transmit. The next touch point was when the lady who was cleaning the room and getting the room ready and he walked in to come and put his uh, stuff in the room. And he stayed there for a bit of time, and that's the interaction that we believe that, uh, because it's a contained space. Eh? Businesses in Lambasa have started observing COVID-19 protocols. Uh, major banks have their security officers now wearing face masks and holding hand sanitizers for their customers to use before using banking services. At the post office, all staff are now wearing gloves and face masks as they service their customers. Shops and supermarket staff are also wearing gloves. Notices have also been put up by the Lambasa Town Council reminding people to observe social distancing, avoid social gathering, reduce crowding and to wash their hands. 
A handwritten note that read, Daddy has poisoned mommy, was discovered by the former UN regional security advisor on the day Henry Lusaka allegedly murdered his wife. Lusaka is on trial, trial rather, charged with murder in the death of his wife Jennifer Downs at their rented home on Service Street in Suva on July 23rd, 2019. Okay. Charles O'Hanlon testified Lusaka was highly agitated, aggressive and alert when they approached the residence on that day. When asked about the whereabouts of Jennifer Downs, Lusaka, who was holding a knife and whiskey bottle, replied that she was busy and could not come to the door. The officers were able to get into the home with the help of the eldest child who handed a bunch of keys to O'Hanlon. The officer said they forced their way into the bedroom where Lusaka hid and found Downs lying on the ground unresponsive. The trial continues. Up ahead, new talent identified in schools competition. And Wainingolo on track. Fiji National Rugby League has found some young players to consider for development. Following the conclusion of the secondary school's season last weekend, the FNRL identified some new talent. But the coach, Joe, Joe Rambele, believes these players can be developed and may join the Kaiviti Silk Tales program. And if you look at our KBT, I think the oldest players in our KBT is about 26 or 27 years old. The rest are all 2019. So I think that's the right way for us to go to because uh, a lot of NRL players are like they want young players. National 7 squad member Chuta Wainingolo is on track for his journey to represent Fiji in the international arena. The 22-year-old joined the national squad last year and has since never looked back. A former Ratu Kandavulevu school student says he's taking one step at a time. For me, the preparation has been going very well. Um, trying to get into the uh, sevens uh, system. So right now we've been uh, 20 member squad uh, preparing for the Olympic, and uh, I think our next one will be going to Australia for the Tri Nation. The man behind the scene for the Fiji rugby teams, Apisain Devo, has taken bold steps to make a switch from being the trainer to player. Devo is currently a strength and conditioning coach and an understudy of the Olympic gold medal winning team trainer, Nathanieli Vawanimbuka. Devo made his debut for the Suva development team where they came out victors over Rewa last Saturday. Growing up watching rugby players and wondering how they keep fit has always been a dream for Apisain Devo to become a trainer. Devo has rubbed sh shoulders with many local and international rugby players such as Jerry Tuai as part of his daily work. But this time the Naitasiri native got to feel what these players go through while on the field. So I've been giving the boys training program. So whenever I ask them, they say, oh, it's good. But currently, Fijian boys, they don't tell you the full truth. They'll just say yes, yes, or no, no. So what encouraged me, I wanted to feel exactly what I was giving them, uh, how they did help transfer to rugby. World Soccer Governing Body FIFA says clubs involved in the breakaway Super League must face consequences. But one lawyer says there may be little that can be done to stop the new league. Fine weather is expected over most of Fiji today with some scattered showers in the east and the interior of the larger islands. Elsewhere, generally fine with a chance of afternoon showers or a thunderstorm. That's FBC News Now. Be sure to join us for our one-hour major bulletin at 7 p.m. And don't forget, download the FBC app for the latest in news and sports, as well as live radio broadcasts of all our six radio stations. Take care and good afternoon.